Hey Libra, what's up? How are you guys doing? I'm back with another reading. This is Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that this person out here right now, uh, they want to work with you. Okay, they want to build this connection. That's for sure here. This person is definitely wanting to put in the effort here now in this connection. They're wanting to put in the effort. They want to commit to this connection, to this situation. Commit as a not commitment, commitment in the way of marriage, but more like, okay, I'm ready to put in the work. Okay, what do I need to do? They want to try and know more about this situation. They want to put in the effort. They want to collaborate. Okay, there's this teamwork energy coming from this person's side out here. Okay, but with the sun in reverse, yeah, the problem here is that there is this sense of pessimism from this person's side. Okay, so they it's temporary, but they lack uh, optimism, okay, that they can make it work out with you, okay, or they lack clarity out here. For some reason here, this person is not being able to focus on the positive side, okay, or not being able to focus on what they can do to make it work out rather than focusing on what they can't do, okay, so it's a level of self-doubt from their side out here. You're coming off as the page of pentacles with the two of cups in reverse here. So from your side out here, I feel that uh, you are no longer investing into this connection because clearly you feel that there was a lot of effort that was that had been put from your side, okay? Uh, there was um, probably passive bullying also. Probably this person neglected the connection out here. But there was a lack of emotional expression from this person's side out here where once upon a time you guys were together. Now it's like, you know, the love is probably still there but you're not seeing eye to eye, which is why there's a lack of uh, investment from your side. You're no longer wanting to put in the work and effort that you used to in this connection. But again, there's a lot of love here which is not being said, okay? Now, how they view the connection? They view this connection uh, as uh, there is a break between you both. Like I said, no communication. They're holding back out here. They see you as holding back from this connection, but they want to talk to you with a page of cups. So this person wants to come towards you. They want to express how they feel out here, and they want to tell you, uh, probably even apologize. But there's a lot of expression now coming from this person's side, okay, where, hey, let's talk, okay, I'm sorry. Let's try to make up for this, okay? On your side out here, how you view this connection is the four of cups in reverse and the ten of swords. For you, it's over and done with. Okay, it's done and dusted. This is a open and shut case out here. You just rest your case. You feel this is the last of it. This was the last row and uh, you put the nail on the coffin here. But maybe you were uh, breadcrumbed by this person. Maybe there was stagnation here. Maybe there was boredom. There was a lack of enthusiasm in this connection. Maybe this was a connection that was just not moving forward out here, okay? But from your side, it was like where you did not get the attention and the love that you deserved. You were stagnant. You were stuck in that place, that negative place all this while out here, okay? Where you probably were like either waiting for this person to come towards you and make you an offer, okay? Or you were feeling rejected because this person was not ready to accept your offer out here. I feel things didn't turn out the way you wanted them to, okay? And you were not being able to see the brighter side of uh, this breakup, probably, okay? But now I feel you're coming out of a point where you're trying to get out of that stagnation mode, letting go of regret, okay? And choosing to end this connection for good, okay? Uh, I think you're like absolutely ready to rock the boat out here and you're just to the point, okay? You're no longer, you're in that no bullshit approach is what I'm getting. Uh, tell me, what is the mutual energy for Libra and the person they're dealing with? What is the mutual energy between Libra and the person they're dealing with? There's so many cards. Both of y'all want to talk, both of y'all want to reconcile, and both of y'all want to take a leap of faith out here. <coughs> so there is this urgent need, okay, to uh, change things between you both quickly, okay? This is a mutual energy, which means both of y'all want the same thing, which means that both of y'all here want a reconciliation, making an assertive decision out here, okay? It's just that one person out here is lacking the optimism here, and one person out here is more like, you know what, I think it's over, and there is this is a dead end out here, okay? But deep within, usually you both want to take a leap of faith, you both want to start this brand new, okay? And I think with the Knight of Souls here, it's also like where the communication, you know, wants to come in quick, you know? Both of y'all want to talk to each other, like this needs to be addressed right now out here. So there are opportunities that I feel you're both looking forward to, okay, where you both can clear the air, okay, so there could be like a huge change or then you're going to miss an opportunity here. Uh, what is the root of the issue for Libra and the person they're dealing with? What is the root of the issue between Libra and the person they're dealing with? Knight of Wands, you're dealing with someone very flighty, 
you know that's the problem here you're dealing with someone very flighty this person comes in with so much passion so much energy so much of force that you're like oh dude this is it you know we're going for this we're getting married we're getting committed this person is in love with me yes they are in love with you but uh, the nights they don't stay so this person out here the moment you get clingy the moment you talk about commitment the moment you talk about sealing this relationship, the moment you put a label on this connection is what scares them. Because this person, when they're rushing in, right, they're not thinking reasonably. They come in with that energy of like, I want to travel with you. Let's make this plan. Let's get out. Let's do this. This person is always seeking thrill. They're always seeking adventure. They love chasing relationships. The moment you get clingy and needy, the moment, you know what? You know what? Let's just, okay, let me give you a tip. So what happens here is when if you watch um, a few uh, coaches here, you know, what they usually say is that um, don't be always available, right? So I feel out here that you have always been very available to this person, which is why with the two of cups in reverse here, you were the one who's put in a lot of work in this disconnection. Emotionally, probably both of you were in it, but the investment was more from your side. Okay, the practical investment to want to make things to, uh, to the next level was from your side out here. So they loved you. There is no denial about that. Agreed. They do love you. You love them. You both were in that emotional connection balanced out here. But when it came to practical investment, that's when this, pipe, uh, this person copped out, which is exactly why they're the Knight of Wands, which is exactly where the blockage is. They will come in and out of your life out here. They rush in because they want you. The moment they know they got you, they run away. That is the biggest blockage out here. Okay. And what happens here is that this person here is constantly, you know, uh, the king of swords in reverse here by the bottom of the deck here, you know, you're dealing with somebody who probably is very a sucks at communication. They, they take uh, undue advantage of their uh, power over you. Uh, they kind of keep people around them for their needs. Okay, so when this person's probably bored or uh, when they miss you or when they want you or when they feel like talking to you, they'll come around talking to you. They'll manipulate the entire com communication, conversation, get what they want and leave. Okay, but this person out here is uh, not thinking logically. They themselves are not assertive enough about what they want with you, which is why they're very in and out. Okay, it's a very on and off connection. It starts quickly, ends quickly out here. Okay, you want to be with this person out here, give this person a run for the money. Okay, make this person want you. Make this person, make yourself very unavailable to this person out here. Don't give a shit. Screw you. Fuck you. I don't want you. That's when they want you even more. But the more you're like, okay, yeah, you know what? Like, fine. I don't mind. You know, it's fine. You've treated me like crap. You treated me like garbage. That's fine. I'll still give you another opportunity. And boom. That's going to be in the reverse. They're running again. I'm telling you. What does Libra feel for this person deep down? What does Libra feel for this person deep down? What does this person feel deep down for Libra? What does this person feel deep down for Libra? This person is stressing the shit out. Okay. They're very stressed. Very stressed. So are you. Okay. Now for you, it's uh, almost at a point where there is this never-ending cycle of activities and events that keep playing in your head over and over and over again. So there are a lot of deep-seated fears and there's a lot of worry, there's a lot of paranoia, a lot of nightmares. You could be overthinking, there's excessive worry from your side, okay? Probably, the, I mean, your are kind of like a, your imagination is like a running riot right now. What you're planning to do is that you want to release this worry. Okay, you want to let go this anxiety which is taking a toll on your mind, a toll on your head. This could be affecting your mental health very badly, okay? But your fears are likely to, unlikely to materialize, okay? But right now you're going down a, a negative spiral, all right? Which is where things are not even as bad as you think it is. You're making mountains out of molehills. But because you're stressing so much, right, is why it could probably manifest into reality. Okay. I think you're just not wanting to move forward with this connection here. Like I said, for you, it's over and out. It's done with, okay? It wants it reverse here. Either you're ending this connection or you just put a complete screeching halt to this connection. You don't want to communicate with them. You don't want to move things forward out here. But yeah, I think you could even be buying time, okay? Like, that's fine. I'll take it as slow as I want out here, but I'm in no hurry. There's a lack of communication. There's a lack of action from your side. There's no momentum out here from your side, okay? And... Uh, <clears throat> You're no longer forcing things. 
all right? You're no longer forcing things out here, okay? Uh, but it's very stuck and standing up on your side. This person out here with the star in reverse and the tower here, right? Uh, I feel this person here has is absolutely hopeless, okay? They have no hope and no faith that uh, things will work out between you both here, okay? This person here is probably coming up with somebody who has a very negative or a very pessimistic view about the future with you. So they lack hope and faith out here. They're not being able to see the signs from the universe that you are the wrong, right direction. Okay, but there's a lack of inspiration here. They're very insecure. This person could be going through some kind of depression also, but they're very discouraged from within. Okay, but with the tower here, wow, with the tower here, uh, I do feel like this person has had an aha moment. Okay, they've definitely had a realization here. Okay, whatever, whatever um, illusions they had in their head. Okay, the rug has been pulled off from their feet. Okay, and there's this sudden change. There's a sudden shift in their energies is what I'm getting here. Okay, huge change out here. Uh, probably could be where something very dramatic where all of a sudden they realize like, oh my God, like what the fuck did I do? But there has been divine intervention out here. Okay, which has forced them, you know, to restructure themselves or the way they think out here okay but whatever has happened that change that the universe has gotten is for their highest good out here okay uh, let's see what is the immediate future of the connection for Libra and the person they're dealing with what is the immediate future of the connection between Libra and the person they're dealing with this is so good so yes uh, this person may not rush in towards you here because this person right now is going through a lot of um, uh, meditation and contemplation. Okay, this person here is wanting to think a lot. Okay, this was the third time I was interrupted in your reading. Anyways, so there are a lot of delays here. Um, okay, so uh, th there is a lot of meditation and contemplation from this person out here. Okay, this person out here is going within to find the answers out here. Okay, this is a break needed from this person and give it to them. Give it to them, all right? I don't see you forcing the communication here, which is also awesome out here. But yes, this person needs this time alone to think about what's going on. But eventually, eventually, this person is going to come towards you with the Ace of Pentacles. There is an opportunity here of a commitment. There is an opportunity here of where there is going to be a seed that is going to be planted, okay? Uh, the potential here, a gift from the universe, a blessing from the universe where things can go um, from... Uh, from um, nothing to everything okay so this is a strong foundation for the future here there is the security and stability that is going to be presented to you in the immediate future out here from this person out here once they get out of their isolation here whatever the stability is coming towards you from this person out here this is a very very well thought out decision okay very analytically they've uh, uh, pulled themselves away okay and this person is now ready to come towards you, okay? Whatever this person is, however they're coming in, it's taking a lot of inner strength from them, okay, to tame the situation. They're pretty much successful here. But I think all this while, if this person was here under any kind of obligations, if this person out here uh, was um, not being able to see things clearly or, you know, they were just probably in that place where they didn't know what to do, uh, it could also be that this person was probably very, very influenced, okay, by other people. But whatever this is, right, all of it, it's all crumbling down, okay? This person out here is going to, you know, I feel this person here could have been controlled, either controlled by uh, their family, controlled by their friends, controlled by the negative mentality, okay? But now I feel that this person out here was making decisions based on what other people wanted or based on what their negative thoughts were, okay? Rather than basing their decisions on what they wanted, they're now finally seeing things very, very clearly. Okay, they're getting out of their head. They're seeing things very, very clearly. They no longer are stuck in a situation. Earlier, they were feeling trapped. Okay, they were unable to be free. Maybe they felt they were victimized. Okay, very paralyzed by someone, someone's thoughts, someone's influence, someone's opinion. Okay, uh, but uh, probably they didn't want to disappoint someone else out here. Okay, could be their family, friends, whoever. But they were in this victim mentality here, not trusting that intuition. Now, they've reached a point where they're getting out of that. Okay, they're no longer feeling silenced. They want to see uh, what they want to see. They want what they want out here. And I feel if they were blocked, into, uh, blocked their intuition, they're getting out of that. They're getting out of that negative beliefs. Okay. And now they're finally ready to hear what uh, their heart is saying. Okay. So this person out here is going to release themselves from any situation that they felt very stuck, tied, bound, and restricted to. And they're going to come towards you with a brand new beginning and a commitment out here.
but you on the other hand where you're just holding back i think you don't trust them because this person stressed you out a lot out here they've stressed you out a lot out here okay but yeah it's the power moment out here the divine intervention out here that has made this person change their mind okay so there you don't have to do anything you're not doing anything anyways but you don't have to do anything the universe is going to straighten them out okay so they're gonna have a splash of cold water on their face very soon they're on their face very soon they're on their face